The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. Well, a mere, uh, what, uh, huh? yeah, five trading hours ago, I posited that we were in uh, within probably by 11 o'clock this morning, a major high. Was unsure whether or not it would be the earnings last night or the earnings this morning uh, that would really uh, turn the market. Didn't think maybe this much. I was hoping for a little less, a little uh, kind of smaller gap up, uh, down. But, uh, yeah, I think we've got a fairly decent opportunity to say uh, that we have a top. Uh, thanks for the kind words to, 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 to uh, James, uh, Richard, Rick. And uh, Sally for uh, reminding me of my call yesterday on the show. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I you know, a lot of them asking, do I think this is the ABC down uh, in a bigger uh, bearer market? I think you can say that. Now, uh, as we discussed, I think on Monday, I said this kind of reminded me of the highs and uh you know, the first couple of days of uh, 2000, uh, we had uh, just a miserable uh, thumping. And then, of course, uh, we kind of rallied back into the March time frame. I think this one was a little bit faster into the February time frame. And this leg will really tell us uh, if I'm dreaming or uh, this is the bear market. Generally, you get a fairly decent opportunity to sell, and people never do the first time uh, and then they always think that the market's going to come back but I think there's enough evidence to suggest uh, that we have a few things that are wrong in the market um, also I, I only saw one I didn't spend a lot of time watching I just turned it on to watch the ticker but I only saw one person actually uh, probably even dance around the real problem with Facebook we'll talk about that today uh, but uh, it's got bigger problems that they're not talking about on CNBC because, of course, they want those folks to come on the show one day. So they can't actually tell the truth, or if they do, they have to do it obliquely. The only way you get the truth on that is uh, going to be uh, if uh, if uh, they know the company's going out of business and no one's going to be back. But certainly uh, we had, I'm going to say, a, a uh, uh, pretty much a bloodbath in after hours last night. Continue through this morning. We're going to go through those earnings and what's going on. Um, what do we have here? Uh, as I said uh, yesterday, the volume was decreasing going into the fifth day. Yesterday, that's not good for going up and trying to challenge uh, highs again. Um, short sellers had hopped on Netflix. We talked about this a little bit yesterday, too. And that was that for the last five years, if you shorted a stock heavily, if the market got down on it, there was a pretty much 80% chance that within a day or two, you were going to get a fairly huge pop in that, uh, like Netflix. That doesn't happen anymore. I mean, there are a lot of stocks that uh, had been popped on the last few days, none of them bouncing, uh, and few of them holding up fairly well. Uh, it, it isn't an entire market that's going lower, although I think that's probably true uh, overall. Some will be stronger than others. And of course, the uh, world's kind of, uh, at least the investment world, kind of focused on fake book, um, Metamucil. Uh, I don't give them a lot of respect, mostly because uh, they should all be in jail. And I'm not, it's not hyperbole. Literally, Facebook stole and hacked more data than anybody has ever hacked any data illegally uh, through uh, using uh, the iOS in uh, in Apple's uh, phone. 
any prosecutions? No. Did they steal data? Yes. Were they entitled to it? No. Did they sign a contract that said that they wouldn't do that? Yes. Uh, but I was, we were talking yesterday, and I said, you know, what we really don't know is how big that whole iOS thing, when uh, Apple last fall changed their operating system to cut uh, the, uh, the uh, uh, misinformation uh, book uh, out of going in there and looting your uh, location and some other stuff. But basically, Facebook was making a great deal of money by looting your position and then firing ads at you, following you around, uh, which is pretty highly uh, uh, illegal. Now, I think everybody kind of knows about that. What I, Even if they've kind of forgot it, they kind of vaguely remember it last fall. The bigger problem is that Facebook lied about what their earnings were going to be. I suspect they're going to be tons and tons of lawsuits for people, uh, and you know, if you're going to miss by ten billion dollars, you knew that halfway through the quarter. You didn't have to wait till yesterday. I think a lot of the lawsuits are going to be on that. They already have a ton of lawsuits, and I mean thousands of lawsuits of uh, against uh, uh, Facebook uh, for defamation of character. Uh, they just lied out and out on a variety of folks. Uh, about, uh, you know, they said, uh, you know, you were telling a lie when you said this and we're, we're excommunicating uh, you off our pro, uh, platform. Uh, the problem is that fake book was lying. The people were actually telling the truth. And now all those lawsuits are starting to percolate up through some of the bigger ones with Facebook and the New York Times have gotten... Uh, through the initial part, they're getting into the discovery part now. And there's going to be a lot. I mean, we already know a multitude of sins that these guys are involved in. Another thing that happened, too, that most people probably didn't spend much time on yesterday, uh, just before uh, the uh, bell closed, uh, another ruling came out from the EU. Uh, there's a big thing called the GDRP. Let me find it here. Where is it at? GDRP. There it is. General Data Protection Regulation. I talked about this years ago. It's gone into effect. Uh, Facebook lost uh, a, a appeal, and I think it was, eh, I forget now. I, I looked for the article. I couldn't find it right before the show to remind myself. But it was either a three-judge or a six-judge panel, uh, and it was unanimous. And that is that Facebook does have to uh, abide by uh, the laws uh, in the EU for privacy protection. Now, what would that mean uh, if this goes, if Facebook tries to uh, basically appeal this up to the Supreme Court uh, of the EU? I forget what it's called, but basically the same thing. Uh, I'm guessing, though, that they are probably not going to take it with a unanimous verdict in the lower court. What does this mean? This means all the data that Facebook has ever gathered is going to have to be flushed. They would have to start all over square one again, uh, at least for data for everybody in the EU. We'll be back in a minute. Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month. And try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. And as we get uh, kind of late in the day on a Thursday, uh, it is problematic to see that we get any kind of recovery today. Uh, we do have Amazon after the bell. Uh, that could bounce the market. I'd love for the market to have a little bounce so I could short it uh, and add some more positions. But, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, everybody kind of a little bit bearish on it. Generally, that's not a good time to start hopping on. Um, but, uh, yeah, maybe we get a little bounce. I don't think it's before the close today. Could get a little bit tomorrow. I would love uh, 45 50 to short this market uh, and go all in. But, uh, yeah, I'll probably not be that lucky. It'll probably just fall apart now. Uh, as I uh, said before, uh, kind of setting up a move that could go all the way to 4,000, maybe by May. But I think it's going to be a couple of uh, small steps, maybe a couple of small steps forward, and a couple of, and maybe just one really big, bad one behind uh, as we get into higher interest rates and the reality uh, that a lot of these companies are not going to be growing much this year. Some will do well. I don't think Apple or Microsoft are really uh, the week's uh, sisters here. But we do have uh, a great deal of uh, the other FANG stocks. Uh, as I said, uh, NFLX, um, you know, you got kind of a bounce off the bottom. You didn't really go that far. I was thinking maybe 475 you could get to. The market decided to head lower and take Netflix with it. Uh, but one of the most hated stocks, even today, the only good thing you can say is there wasn't a lot of volume so far. We're doing about half the volume we did yesterday and uh, about half the volume we did before. Uh, you know, could this thing still get a bounce? It's got a lot of people piling on to the short side, but I don't see a lot going on here. Uh, da -da 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 -da. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. We've got a comment from the from uh, the emails out here about my opening slide out here, and he said uh, he's uh, sending out an SOS. Yeah, 
to uh, do. Okay, we got that. Uh, 877-927-6648. First question is TLT. And, uh, uh, you know, you bounced off the 140 low. There isn't much volume today. Um, I'm just surprised that uh, we haven't hit that 139 yet. I'd say there's an 85% chance that we at least hit the 139. My guess is it's going to go down there and blow through it. And that probably starts, I don't know, in the next few days, um, both the uh, Fed and uh, the EU are saying they were going to discontinue bond purchases. Uh, this morning it was the EU saying that uh, March was the end for them. So you've got uh, 30, 45 days or so. Uh, left for those guys. But uh, now I'm just kind of waiting for this thing to blow through the lows. Um, and, you know, it hovering around like this for a while doesn't mean that I think you're probably going to get a fairly good bounce. I think you're going to blow right through it, whatever the event is that takes it through. But if the Fed is truly not going to buy bonds anymore, um, that probably makes a pretty good uh, uh, effort to think that when it does blow through, it's going to continue on down to about 132. So don't think that there's a lot else going on here other than this thing just hanging on. It has been supported by the Fed for a little while, but that's probably getting fairly close to not happening anymore. Okay. Um, give me just a second. Uh, Okay, answered that question. Uh, okay, we got that. Oh, we got that. Uh, okay, yep. TLT is going to fall apart. When? Don't know. Uh, but certainly we're getting the last couple of days of the Fed buying bonds, and uh, probably not a good sign. 877-927-6648. Let's do a little history. And it's all just a little bit of history repeating. And, oh, we got to go to the next one. On this day in 1959, November 3, 7, 9, or 4, 9, or crashes. It's 1959. Rising American stars, Buddy Holly, Richie Valens, and the big bopper. Uh, Richardson are killed when their chartered Beechcraft Bonanza plan, plane crashes in Iowa a few minutes after takeoff from Mason City on a flight headed for Moorhead, Minnesota. Investigators blame the crash on bad weather and pilot error. I can tell you it was all pilot error. Holly and his band, the Crickets, had just scored a number one hit with uh, That'll Be the Day. And of course, uh, eh, great, great song written about it, but... Uh, no, nope. you had a 21-year-old pilot, didn't have much time, just barely got his commercial license, uh, flying at night and flew into uh, bad weather. Did not have uh, a instrument rating. And, yeah, they even had him back there in 1959. Uh, but the plane wasn't equipped uh, well for that. Um, he flew into a cloud, lost spatial uh, recognition, and crashed. And... Uh, there's a lot of reasons why you don't fly into what they call uh, instrument meteorological conditions, IMC. Uh, why so many people die, including uh, the basketball player in the helicopter last year. Uh, if you think it's hard flying an airplane in the clouds, just try to fly a helicopter in the clouds. By the way, you can't cover, you can't hover unless you can see the ground. And, uh, and a lot of reasons, but uh, yeah. Uh, just avoid uh, flying into bad weather in small planes. Uh, avoid a couple other things, and you could probably, 90% of the accidents would go away. But uh, eh, not much happening there. We know the reasons uh, and how to cure it. Just uh, very many, not very many people do. 877-927-6648. Uh, Look for your phone calls. Uh we had the Treasury bond. We're going to go through the earnings uh, overnight and this morning. Um, 
Align Technologies, of course, they make uh, braces. Eh, not a whole lot changing. They did open up lower. This is one that looks a little better. Back up against resistance for a gap down. Let's zoom in for the play-by-play. -play. Gap down on the 18th with 1.4 million shares. Uh, yesterday, you were up on 1.6 million shares, so it didn't look that bad. Uh, even today, you uh, went lower, but all you had was 1.2 million shares. Uh, interesting business. Certainly doesn't have a lot of the problems that other businesses have, uh, i.e. inflation, supply chains. Uh, they just need customers. But uh, kind of a nice recovery on this one. With what any at today. We'll be back in a minute. fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with become an apex predator in the trading market and join the tiger's den trading room only at tfnn.com the tiger's den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. As we go through the rest, as we already talked about Amazon a little bit, uh, big gap down, just worried. Um, again, we don't know whether or not they're the CEO, the new CEO of Amazon is done clearing out the uh, skeletons out of the closet, as most CEOs do when they come in after a long history of uh, a upswing in uh, a stock. Generally, there's a, a lot of uh, crimes and uh, eh, near crimes that have uh, come along the way and they have to take care of those. 
once the CEO leaves. But uh, I think Bezos will be okay. Uh, they're getting ready to pull down an entire bridge to let his $500 million yacht uh, out and uh, onto the ocean. So it's just about ready to be ready to go to the Bahamas uh, for the springtime. Uh, but uh, I think I'll think he'll be able to sleep just fine uh, going forward. Anyway, um, gap down a lot of volume. I think a lot of people are just looking at uh, Facebook and others and thinking that generally most downside is all priced in. So maybe you get a little bounce in the morning off that or, you know, in the futures after the close. But I don't think we're going to get anything but a sell-off into the close today. And we continue to sell off uh, down 83, 84 points on the S&P cash. Maybe we get a little bounce right into the end, but uh, I don't think that there's uh, much uh, to be had. And then we get into Friday. Uh, God help us if Amazon doesn't do well. Uh, because, uh, yeah, we'll probably have the equal of that. I had one guy ask me earlier in the morning about any of these stocks being uh, buys. And I'll tell you that if you get a big gap down, my one rule is to give it three days. And that is I don't care how much I, uh, you know, if the stock is going to go right back up uh, to the top. If you have a big gap down on volume and you're starting to think that maybe you, you maybe get a 50% uh, return uh, in the next couple of days ago. I just have always given it a three-day rule. Every time I've decided to play before the three days, I found out that uh, generally I get my hands slapped. So I'm going to tell you on all of these, I am not high on them bouncing at least in the next three days. APPS, a little gap down here. Uh, it just looks like it wants to go back and retest a 30, uh, 3555 low. This is digital turbine. Uh, of course, uh, my I guess the worry of a lot of people in the markets uh, is that uh, you could get a, a move in something like the ARK fund. Uh, is it just ARK, right? Is that it? Yeah. No. Uh, ARKK, right? Yeah, oh, there we go. Uh, and it's gap down. The the possibility does exist now that we are headed down that why she may have uh, avoided one downturn, um, probably not going to be able to avoid or live through a second one. Uh, but we shall see. She got a lot of money coming in. But my guess is that a lot of people are going to turn tail and run. And, you know, if a route happens on her fund, a lot of stocks are probably going to get tossed out uh, with proverbial bathwater uh, on the way back down again. But uh, I don't see a lot in here that says that uh, there isn't going to be a real problems with that going forward. Uh, you get on the wrong side of it, and it is problematic. Uh, you do get a market that if you have never seen one, it's called an ant mill. Uh, you should uh, go to YouTube and just... Type in ant mill and see how these things work. Bristol Myers Squibb uh, kind of opened okay, a little down, not much in the way of volume. Um, I was more thinking that the biotechs would be weak than uh, I, I kind of thought that you'd be down a little bit on Facebook, but not as much on that, and a little bit more on the biotechs. They actually didn't do as badly as I thought. Uh, other ones out here. We looked at Facebook. That's just ugly. There's going to be a lot of people that were long on margin on it. Give them the three days to get out. No one's going to throw them a lifeline. Uh, when you're in trouble on margin, the only thing that the market's going to do is toss you anvils while you're drowning. Uh, Flex, a nice pop-up, one of the few out here. This is kind of an interesting doji pattern on this one. Uh, but uh, did well. Uh, decent volume up here. For a bad day, anything that can bounce on today, you want to keep a longer-term eye on. Uh, Kulik and Safa down just a little bit, not much. McKesson, uh, a gap higher. Uh, volume is not a, quite as good as you would like, but holding the highs, it doesn't look like in the energy sector. There's a lot of reasons to sell anything. MTTR, somehow this got in after hours linked to 
Facebook. I do not know. It has absolutely nothing to do with Facebook, but took a dive almost at the same time. There may be more news that I missed, but uh, I did see that yesterday. Looks like it's going to go down to 750. Uh, Netgear, um, especially with 5G coming on, uh, this one's probably going to have a fairly good year. Uh, did go back, test the lows, did a fairly d a decent retracement uh, in this one. And, uh, you know, if we do find some kind of low in the market that I think viable, um, I'm going to keep an eye on uh, Netgear. But uh, certainly modems, uh, 5G, 6G, internal Wi-Fi stuff, going to be big. Qualcomm is another one of these that uh, got kind of hit hard uh, in the after hours uh, by, what would you call it, pin action. If you're a bowlers out there, you understand it. Um, really not doing that bad. Uh, earnings were good, but just the bloodbath that was last night got caught up in it. Um, you know, earnings were good. Does that mean it can go higher? If the market does, it can. Uh, but if the market goes lower, probably. For me, I don't see the risk reward here. I'd love to see it at about 150. There's a double gap there. We haven't tested that gap and we uh, double test double double gap so many times uh, that it'd be worth it uh, Corvo another one in that smartphone uh, business uh, did gap down volumes okay not massive uh, but problematic uh, Royal Caribbean not much going on there Regeneron as I said not much going on in these biotechs that I thought would be weaker uh, the semis were actually weaker than I thought the biotechs haven't done much so far, although we have a lot more tomorrow morning. Uh, Roku, I finally figured out how these guys were making money and understand why they are not now anymore. And that is every time I grab one of the remotes, it adds a channel. And I, you know, I'm trying to like turn it off, do anything. No, I don't want to add Max Showtime or this or that or the other. But every time, I'm, I'm going to say every three times I grab the remote, it tries to add some kind of of a new channel on it and since i've got two of them and it does it on both i'm pretty much sure that this is not a bug but something that had been planned uh but anyway uh, down to the previous lows as i said uh, early on i never understood the profit model on this company it seemed rather dubious um i still don't understand how this thing really is going to make money long term um, and could it break uh, the 139.47 low? Uh, if the market heads lower, as I suspect it will, the next day, could break that tomorrow. We'll be back in a minute. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. 
Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD. Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866 476 7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Anyway, we're back. Uh, Matterport. Yeah, I did say I didn't understand why anybody would be in it last week. This is a uh, golf guy. So, but uh, yeah, uh, don't see any reason to be in it. Um, the big problem with these 3D companies uh, that uh, do inside uh, modeling is everybody in the world does it. They all buy the parts from the same ones. And the software, as far as I can tell, is all the same. Maybe someone will come out with something better, but right now I don't see a lot. Uh, when we look at Snap, uh, certainly Snap ended up uh, getting uh, tarred with the same uh, brush, tarred and feather uh, with the same brush. Um, you know, uh, social media stocks, eh, you just got to kind of have to think of them as having an STD right now. Uh, and probably a bad one. I guess there aren't good ones, but maybe a, a extra bad one out here. But uh, yeah, you've got two gaps down now in Snap. Uh, are you probably going to get a third? The answer is yes. And so I wouldn't be touching these until, uh, well, you know, the STD thing, right? <laughs> All of these social media companies are going to have problems with Facebook. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Somebody talking about the NFTs. Uh, I do had uh, did have to laugh in the uh, COVID special for South Park. Uh, they were all in there talking about NFTs, and last night's uh, South Park. Man, did they get on uh, Matt Damon. Uh, for advertising a uh, all the uh, all the uh, cyber uh, coin stuff, uh, but uh, no, it's still funny. But uh, yeah, future uh, uh, fortune favors the brave, but uh, not in uh, lo likely not love in the in the short term here for uh, any kind of cyber uh, cash been a bad bad play but i do enjoy getting a good laugh at of uh, south park on it uh okay no got that, one, got that one uh anyway um yeah you got two big gaps in snap look for the third before you look for any kind of low in fact i'd want that to happen before i would go long facebook either Sandify, not much happening out here today on that one. Spotify, uh, pretty big gap down. Again, their problem is not Joe Rogan, although a lot of people want to blame it on it. It's a horrible business, uh, as I've said uh, for years. This is a business where you pay out 70 or 80 percent of uh, everything uh, to the people uh, that made the music. And of that 80 percent, 75 percent of it goes to the record label. Uh, you know, if you're uh, somebody that uh, 
uh, play something on it. If you get 50 bucks out of Spotify a week and you're a big time player, that's a lot of money. There just isn't any money to be made in music uh, for actually playing it uh, or recording it. It's all in concert money these days. It's no longer in this. But uh, now, nah, I don't think that has a lot to do with it. It has to do with just how bad uh, the business is. Spotify correctly changed their business plan just like XM Satellite did. It's going to have some hiccups. But Spotify was, you know, in a bad place to begin with. I don't know how their stock held up that way so long. But uh, no, I don't think it's any better. But it's not it's not a not a podcast issue. It is the 90 percent of their business that is basically a loser showing up because you're paying 70 percent or 80 percent everything out just to play other people's stuff. That's why they wanted to get into their own content. And they wanted a tent pole, uh, much like XM Satellite had with, uh, God, what's his name, the New York shock jock. So they went down that road because it allowed Cirrus XM to exist for a long time. But uh, you know what? Um, my guess is long term it's going to be good uh, for them. They need to do more of that. And, uh, and probably the worst part of it is them acting uh, all uh, spineless on this they should just tell the people to f off in my opinion uh it's not they're not going to please anybody and the people who are going to quit are probably still going to quit uh but uh guess what you got somebody attracting 100 million people a month that's a business i want to be in and that's what joe rogan does he gets 100 million people a month in the door and of course uh if you took all the hours of all the cable stations and the cable news stations, you don't get anywhere close. I don't think you get to 20 million on the top rated cable news station uh, and probably more like 5 million on some of the lower ones. So what do you want to do? They're following exactly the model that XM did. But you know, the question is, can they get enough out there? But, uh, you know, you look at XM, all it is is podcasts now. Uh, that was all about playing music. I don't think this is any different. I just never understood. They came out in one of the most bizarre ways for the uh, IPO. Uh, and this is maybe the most confusing uh, stock uh, public since uh, Caesars. Caesars came out had all this all these shares and only allowed for like two years five percent of the shares to actually uh, actually trade and then they slowly started letting the shares out once everybody thought that caesar's wasn't going belly up but uh yeah just because you like the company doesn't mean you have to like the stock it can be a long-term winner but it's going to take a long term to a long time to turn a boat around on T-Mobile. I kind of disliked it because uh, when someone called in last week, uh, mostly because I don't like companies spending a lot of money. Uh, they're actually saying they're going to spend a little less money. And there were a ton of people uh, thinking it was going to blow up that were short. This was one that is highly short. I still don't think long term it's going to do much. But uh, you got a nice gap out here and a big short squeeze going on in it. TWST. Do, do, do. Okay. Um, Twist Bioscience. Eh, nothing going on in that. Uh, Twitter, again, any of these companies uh, have got the social disease, the STD. And uh, you're back into the previous low of 3205. Uh, Twitter has got a, another company that's just got a ton. My guess is it's going back to 20 or 18. I don't know if it breaks it this time or not. But long term, yeah, by May, 18 bucks on Twitter. It's got a lot of problems uh, that aren't going to get any better. Uh, another company that's going to be embroiled in lawsuits for defaming uh, hundreds, if not thousands, of people. Um, and uh, some of these guys that are got the uh, cases right now, they're going through court. They're winning and proving a, uh, a, a not an absence of malice, but actual malice. All that was a good movie, though. We'll be back in a minute and wrap up the show.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secure investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. And we are back. PayPal holdings. Yeah, a little bit more. Um, you went through this gap and you did it with a lot of volume. So you're basically at support 124 right now. Um, I'm not so much inside uh, baseball on this one. Uh, another one that someone brought up that I wasn't a lot involved in was Sophie, although I see people in the den talking about it all the time. Um, my understanding, and maybe I'm wrong on this, was they were – Gonna, they were believing they were going to get a bill through to uh, uh, wipe out all student debt, and these guys were buying it all up on pennies of the dollar, and therefore were going to make a bunch of money. But I may have that story wrong. Maybe someone will call in tomorrow on that and really give me the, uh, the story on it. But that's what I kind of vaguely remember from the beginning that they were buying a lot of uh, under-appreciated uh, stuff, thinking that there was going to be more free money coming from uh, a current administration, and the chances uh, on uh, that are going to be slim and none. And, of course, raising interest rates just mean more, more people are probably going to fold on a lot of those uh, dubious student loans, personal loans, um, ridiculous uh, used car loans, and uh, third and fourth uh, mortgages on a house, uh, 
maybe I'm wrong on this, and I hope someone calls in tomorrow or emails me on SoFi. But uh, I think that really was dependent on an on a uh, economy getting better, not worse. And I don't know if it, you could actually say worse. I'm just going to say worse in the scheme of things of a higher interest rates that are coming this year, whatever they are going to be, however much there is, and free money from the government to pay off those loans, which I don't think is happening. That was my big regulation. Uh, looking for uh, real problems, and generally it doesn't get any better before the end of the day on a Thursday. So when you can, not when you have to, we will turn like a bad rag tomorrow. Same thing.